China's state defense giant Norinco has introduced the Tianyan system, a groundbreaking artillery-launched drone platform that is reshaping the role of indirect fire in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, missions. Developed in collaboration with the Chinese Air Force and the Shangxi Applied Physics and Chemistry Research Institute, Tianyan drones are uniquely deployed from standard 155mm artillery shells, reaching distances beyond 10 km in mere seconds. After over 10 years of intensive research and surviving extreme G-force trials, this innovation places China at the cutting edge of merging artillery with drone technology. Tianyan represents more than a technical milestone, it heralds a novel combat paradigm that integrates firepower with autonomous and expendable drone assets. By utilizing existing artillery as a delivery mechanism for drones, Norinco and its partners have devised a cost-effective, stealthy, and rapid method to deploy ISR capabilities deep into contested zones, bypassing many vulnerabilities that conventional unmanned aerial vehicles face. This system falls within a new class of unmanned platforms designed to be fired directly from artillery tubes. Specifically tailored for 155mm caliber weapons, the drone is enclosed in a robust stainless steel capsule engineered to withstand launch stresses exceeding 1,100 MPa and acceleration forces up to 36,000 Gs. Its release mechanism operates purely mechanically through an intricate pyrotechnic chain reaction, employing lead azide and boron-based explosives with flame propagation in complex microchannels, ensuring reliable mid-air separation. Tested rigorously across temperature extremes from minus 50 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius, and through multiple live fire and ground trials, the system consistently demonstrated flawless activation without relying on sensitive onboard electronics. The concept of artillery-fired drones dates back to 2013, when Tianyan first emerged in a Chinese military competition for innovative aircraft concepts. Initial skepticism centered on the survivability of electronic components under cannon launch conditions stalled progress for years. The breakthrough came under the guidance of lead engineer Huang Yunluan, who pivoted away from electronic systems in favor of mechanical solutions, conducting advanced simulations and impact tests to validate resilience under extreme conditions. Backed by sustained government defense funding, the Tianyan system transitioned from theoretical design to operational prototype by 2025. Tianyan's core strength lies in its ability to insert drone assets swiftly and covertly into hostile areas without depending on traditional UAV launchers, which are more vulnerable to detection and disruption. Compared to Western loitering munitions such as the U.S. Aerovironment Switchblade or Israel's Hero 30, which require dedicated electric launchers, Tianyan leverages existing artillery infrastructure, drastically lowering costs and increasing deployment speed. Its mechanical launch design also outperforms legacy Soviet tube-launched drones or mortar-deployed payloads by achieving higher velocity, altitude, and durability during launch while avoiding the fragility of onboard electronics in the critical initial phase. Strategically, Tianyan fits into China's doctrine emphasizing multi-domain warfare, operational flexibility, and electronic warfare resilience. It allows near-instant ISR asset deployment deep into adversary rear areas, impacting potential flashpoints like the Taiwan Strait, South China Sea, and border zones. The system enhances the People's Liberation Army's capability to conduct rapid reconnaissance, electronic jamming, and data relay missions without exposing operators or costly infrastructure. Additionally, its capacity for saturating contested zones with expendable drones complicates enemy defenses and facilitates real-time targeting for precision artillery and missile strikes. Although no formal procurement contract has been disclosed, military analysts anticipate Tianyan's integration into PLA modernization programs, given Norinco's dominance in ground systems and the Air Force's direct role in development. The system's compatibility with existing 155mm artillery rounds and electronics-free design promise significant cost advantages, making it suitable for large-scale deployment and potential export markets. Under China's 15th five-year plan, funding may prioritize artillery drone convergence, with Tianyan positioned as a flagship technology in this evolving warfare domain. Ultimately, Tianyan is not merely a technological innovation, it signifies a transformative approach to combat, combining precision firepower with autonomous drone deployment. 
As adversaries enhance counter UAV and GPS jamming capabilities, China's mechanically robust, artillery speed drone delivery system could set the blueprint for the future of unmanned combat operations.